Hi guys, it's Josh. And this is Greg. And today we are here to give you a property news update for the month of July. So this month I actually saw quite a lot of movement in the private property market as well as on block news. So without further ado, let us dive straight in. Right, so just in mid-July, over half of Grand Dunman's units were sold on their opening weekend, right? Being a large development with 1,008 units, such a strong showing reflected consumers' confidence in the property market, even as units were sold at an average of 2.5k per square foot, right? Being a city fringe development within walking distance to Dakota MRT and several reputable schools such as Konghua School and Chuncheng High School, it was not surprising that there was a good mixture of investors as well as home buyers keen on this project. Yes, all the factors mentioned by Josh made Dunman Grand the best selling project in two years. The record last held by Normanton Park, another mega development near Cambridge. So similar to Grand Diamond, Normanton Park is actually near Cambridge MRT, appeals to a large tenant pool and has NUS within close proximity as well. So this trifactor of factors seems to be what appeals to the buyers of today's market, being near to public transport as well as being attractive to tenants. Right, so now looking from a pricing standpoint, the average price point for a unit in Grand Diamond is priced within the $2.5 million mark, which seems to be the new sweet spot for buyers in today's market, right? Although it would seem to be a bigger jump from the past years, developers are still mindful to keep prices in tune with relative market sentiments. And buyers are responding by stepping up units on launch day weekend. Furthermore, when comparing Grand Diamond to the other two major launches this year in the East, Tembusu Grand and the Continuum, we see the prices for Grand Diamond is closely aligned. And being a much bigger development close to the MRT, saw relatively higher demand and take up rate as well. So the next launch that we will be talking about is Lentor Hills Residences, which was launched in early July. So more than 50% of the units were sold as well on launch weekend. And although it has only 598 units as compared to Grand Diamond's 1008, it is also close to the upcoming Lentor MRT, which sits on the up-and-coming Thompson East Coast Line. So it is also located within an up-and-coming neighbourhood, which is close to central Singapore, and this will be a key factor in the subsequent section. Alright, so now that we have shared about existing launches, let's talk about some of the more exciting new launches that are coming to the end of July. Moving to the west side of Singapore now, Wing Thai has launched the Lake Garden Residences. This marks the first new launch development in the Jurong Lake District in seven whole years. And what makes this interesting is that it's in the up-and-coming Jurong Lake District. As mentioned by Greg earlier, right? This is something that we notice is a factor of interest by buyers in today's market. Being within the Jurong Lake District, which has plans by the government to provide an estimated 100,000 jobs and 20,000 more residents. The Lake Garden Residences seems to be the anchor development of this transformation in the years to come. Furthermore, prices are expected to start at just under 2,000 per square foot, which is relatively low as compared to other launches in today's market. However, we expect prices to move up rapidly as the developer sells more units on unit selection day itself. Given the pent-up demand over the past 7 years in the area, we do expect units to move rather quickly as both own state buyers interested in the area as well as investors looking to catch a piece of the Jurong Lake transformation pie and the development. However, if you are looking to purchase your first private property and the prices are still on the higher side for you, we can look towards the EC market as well. So the Altura is an upcoming 360 unit EC situated on Bukit Batok West Avenue 8. It's the first EC in Bukit Batok to be launched since 2001 and located within the Bukit Batok heartland near the Jurong urban region, upcoming Tenga Forest Town and being 1 km away from Anglo Chinese School Primary. So we expect this development to be attractive to young couples aiming to do family planning by securing a condominium unit near the prestigious ACS or homestay buyers looking to buy into a mature estate that is near their workplace in the Jurong area as well. Prices for the units are going to range from 1.348 million, which is about 1,376 per square foot for a 980 square feet, three bedroom premium plus study, to 2.188 million, which is, comes out to about 1.422 PSF for a five bedroom premium plus study. So if you're looking for a condominium project that is more affordable than a market average of around 2,000 per square foot in the private property sector, the Altura is something you can definitely consider. All right, so before we end off the newsletter, there are several major potential and blocks in the market as well. One of which is Far East Shopping Centre, looking right on Orchard Road itself, with a guide price estimate of 928 million. The site is eligible to participate in the URA Strategic Development Incentive Scheme, or SDI, in short. What SDI aims to achieve is to encourage redevelopment of older buildings in key areas in order to create a new and more vibrant environment. Being the only development up for and block in the entire orchard is sure to entice many local and foreign developers due to the flexibility of this plot of land to create an iconic mixed-use development in arguably the most prominent shopping street in Singapore. Not to be beat, the east side also boasts their own potential on block building with Katong Shopping Centre having gotten more than 80% of owners' consent to put the building up for sale. So with a guide price of 638 million, the successful on block of Katong Shopping Centre will probably result in the development of a landmark integrated development right in the heart of the prestigious East Coast area. Previously put up for on block in 2017, there has been more interest by developers in this plot of land as we see consistent sales 
for the East Side projects this year. So with that, we have come to the end of the newsletter for July. We hope you are more up to date about the different market happenings as well as sentiments that buyers and investors have in the property market, right? So do remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more real estate tips. And if you find the information shared useful, do share it with your family and friends as well. All right, so this is Josh, this is Greg. We are M8, catch you in the next one.